So what you gonna do uh, when your pocket's low and empty, waiting on your stimulant? Hey, God bless you. Pastor James L. Hines here, talking with you about Money Minute Ministry. Real talk for real life. I know you're looking at me, got my church tie on, my work clothes. Just remember, you can't tell the book by the cover. I wrote a book, talked about I believed him. Now I want to know if you can believe me. We're going to have real testimonies sharing about those who came in, believed and got help and got what he was trying to get. Can you believe me? Hey, real talk for real life. I've tried to tell you, just text me, message me, call me, get your message to me. Tell me your frustration about more month than money. You know, your bills is more than your money. But God's got solutions. All you need is a need and he'll supply your need. Come on and get with me now. Hey, stay tuned for Real Talk for Real Life here at a JLJA production. Hey, God bless you. Hey, my name is Pastor James L. Hines here with the Money Minute Ministry and just a brief testimony of uh, people who are taking in the money wisdom. Uh, here we have Brother Arnold. Um, he's going to say a little bit about himself. And he's going to cover, uh, a couple of days ago, he came to me for financial direction. And so let's go to Brother Jamil Arnold. Give us a little history about yourself so we can have a backdrop. Um, I guess just a little history about myself. I, um, I'm from Jackson, grew up in Jackson. Um, throughout my youth, uh, running around, no direction, or not listening to the direction that I had, and got myself caught up in a little trouble or whatever. And, um, I, uh, I decided to, uh, you know, change my life around, you know, for the, for the people that I had, you know, strong foundation that I had in my life. I, you know, I knew better than that. So I decided to, um, I worked several jobs that I didn't like or that wasn't going in no direction or whatever. So I decided to uh, drive semi trucks and um, I liked it. Um, it's something that I see myself growing in and that I can help myself and also my generations of my family. So um, I went to school and uh, been working, uh, driving the trucks and I came to Pastor Hines for uh, financial direction and to point me in the right direction of uh, possibly securing a, a business loan to be able to purchase my own truck. Okay. And that began to run into some roadblocks because of his past uh, credit history, uh, no established banking. But I want to encourage you, that can't stop us. We have a living testimony. Uh, I walked him through a process. I called uh, leadership of a bank. I scheduled a meeting. We sat down and with a branch manager and praise God for Jamie. Uh, she walked through it. We explained some discrepancies on the credit report. Uh, we assumed of what we had in the credit report and how we was going to address this. His past was going to stop him from his future blessing. Uh, he needed a sum of money to be able to lease a 2021, what type of truck? Freightliner Cascadia. And that leasing of that truck would lock him into 9600 bucks a week. Yes. And here on his credit report, his credit score wasn't horrible, but it wasn't great. It was over the 1600 but the bank said no in that meeting. Yes. And I says, well, uh, we heard no before. We trying to find how to spell yes. Right. And we kept talking to Jamie. I said, look. And she said, I can go one more, Pastor Hines. I can get another bank on the line. And we connected on an app or, or group chat. Mm -hmm. Keep me in the loop. And Jamil began to take what he had learned in his past, what I call gift the gab from the street. You know, look at that woman and tell her, and I'm going to make sure he get his past taken care of. Uh, we're going to go through a budget, making his payments. I'm going to 
partner with him in his development of making his good name a great name. Now, regardless, because he's not only just going to own a truck, he's going to own a fleet of trucks one day. He was a minimal couple of thousand dollars you needed, three grand, uh, to seal a deal of 9600 bucks a month or a week. That's 28000 he, he know how much he was supposed to get paid a month. His 3000 was going to block 28000 And I'm encouraging you, get in the money minute ministry. Get the wisdom. Contact me. Listen to the teaching and walk through. We can help you with your credit report. It's examples like these that's going to change people of no means to a lot of means. Because he's going to disciple somebody. And get past the fear. Now he had to take the harsh talking. Wasn't it pretty harsh? Yeah. Yeah. But like I told him, if you can do time, you can do past the hinds. Am I right? Ain't, ain't no shame. You know, all of us would have been going to jail if we'd have got caught. You had to be open to the you had to be open to criticism in order to be open to favoritism. I like that better. Can I can I copy right there? All right, if I said twice, I'm going to give you credit for the first time. But the second time, I'm saying like I always say. And so uh, I contacted him with what I call the movers and shakers in the financial world to keep the door open. Now, he's got to partner with me and do good on paying his bills. So I'm going to be his uh, prodigy, uh, his partner in crime. Or on the street, I'm going to be the fence to keep him protected. And so I, I say to you all, thank God for you taping this to help free others. This wasn't about honor. This was about you. Remember this. Just a word of wisdom. Don't grab everything you see. God bless you. Any last words, honor? Um, no, all I can say is, you know, don't don't let your, like you said, don't let your, your present or your past dictate your future. It's a lot of times we think that we've been here or, you know, locked up or homeless or or out in the cold and we, 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 we're not nothing or can't be nothing or that's not true. It's a lot of, it's a lot of programs, a lot of people that are helping you if they see you helping yourself. So just uh, stay diligent and stay focused. Hey, to the employment. That's one. To the next one, that's you. God bless you. Until then, shalom. Bank ain't got no sympathy, uh, look, look, money men in ministry, tell me is you feeling me, collectors ain't no friend to me, uh, yo, pass the hinds, take this time, show you definition and the truth behind the grind, bet you wish you managed it better, stormy days is over, homie, I got the answer.